These are the scenes in Greece, where hundreds of people are still stranded without food or water three days after a devastating storm killed at least 10 people and caused enormous damage. Storm Daniel was the worst to hit the country for more than a century. It's left a trail of devastation across the central region of Thessaly. Sofia Betitsa reports now from Larissa. A trail of devastation across central Greece. This region was hit by the heaviest rainfall the country has seen since records began. Entire villages have been engulfed by water. And a massive rescue operation is underway to evacuate hundreds of people trapped for days. Many without food or drinking water. Ksenia has lived in her house for more than 30 years. And is that the one in, in the yellow tent? Yes. It's completely submerged in water. Yes. My home is completely destroyed. I have nothing left. All I have is my work, this house and my children. And now our home is gone. Climate change is causing more extreme weather. Recently, Greece faced the worst summer of wildfires on record. It's a tragedy. We will suffer for a very long time. The damage to our homes is irreparable. A lifetime's work gone in a couple of hours. The damage to infrastructure is enormous. Many roads are impassable and bridges destroyed, adding to the problems faced by emergency workers. Many people here are furious at the Greek government. They accuse ministers of using climate change as an excuse for poor building projects. Take this bridge, for example. It collapsed three years ago because of a cyclone, so it was rebuilt. And now it's completely destroyed again. For many Greeks, this is a symbol of government failure. The army has been brought in to distribute food. This storm has destroyed crops on some of Greece's richest land. Nearly a quarter of this year's agricultural production has been lost. Tourism will suffer too. Another blow to Greece's already fragile economy. Tonight, the search goes on for those still missing. The long-term damage caused by Storm Daniel will take many years to overcome. Sofia Betidza, BBC News, Larissa.